Hello, Facebook, YouTube. The sun is just all in my eye. There we go. Chill out, son. Chill out. I know you're in the sunshine state, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to be really shining like that, though, son. Dang. <laughs> all right, y'all. Mac is going in. Yes, I'm going to talk to you about hmm, when it comes to the flesh, you know, who is your enemy, you know? Who, who is your enemy? Is it flesh and blood, other people, or is it your flesh, your own flesh? Who is your enemy? Hmm, ever asked that question? Or you just, you know, go out and you just live life and, you know, somebody made you mad or somebody did you wrong. Somebody said something negative about you. Somebody said that about you. Who who did you attack? You know what I'm saying? Did you attack them with words, you know, or action? Or did you say, you know, oop. Don't say that. Don't say, you know, don't say some negative to people or something inside you felt, you know, that you shouldn't even say something negative to somebody. What was your response, you know, of, you know, the situation? And uh, is, is, is who is your enemy, more likely? And that's the problem of a lot of people not asking that question or not realizing that reality that you know your enemy you're gonna have to you're going to have have an enemy that's the thing you must realize you're going to have an enemy it's just a question of who is it going to be now i'm going to tell you like this you know that you know if you have lust in your heart guess who's going to be your enemy you know what i'm saying yeah, other people, flesh and blood, gonna be your enemy. You know, Paul, the one that Paul said not to wrestle with. You know, that's gonna be your enemy. But if you have love in your heart, what's gonna be your enemy is the flesh, because Jesus Christ, you know, you know, died on the cross. You know, when he got scourged, he got scourged, thirty-nine lashes, and that one crown makes it forty. You know. And the thing is, he, and that was the, his flesh was his enemy. And the thing is, that's the reality. You have to see the scenario of you, you know, becoming of of God or of man. Hey, oh God and of man. Hope you don't get ran over by the truck. <laughs> of God and of man. And that's the scenario that you have to understand that you have to put yourself in. You have to put of God or of man, you know. You want to, you know, fight, argue, fuss and fight with, you know, other people. And, you know, you think that because, see, the thing is, it's easy to get mad at the outside. It's easy to see enemies that is right in front of you. It's, you know, that is right closest to you. That is tell, talking to you. You know, those enemies that I found out that are seen are easy to become enemies because they're easy to see, to respond to. But it's difficult to respond to an enemy that is unseen, that, you know, it requires to question yourself concerning what's inside of you, your mirror. Or, you know, more likely... You have to understand to learn to examine your heart and examine your mind and examine your motive or you ask the Lord to do that and see if there's anything that is inside you that is not like God to get out of there so you can be on the fight against what's within you. And, you know, hey, it's easy to fight what's outside of you because, you know, outside of you, you know, it can easily make you mad and make you respond to it but it's hard to fight what's inside you because it's you Aha, because it's you and 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 it hurts the flesh and you hurt and you feel bad and you 
feel ashamed and you feel, you know, so, you know, uncomfortable. You know, that's why nobody's not fighting this. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's not fighting it. And this, now watch this. This that's inside you is going to, when it dies, it's the soul is going to go up to the Lord. And there's going to be, you're going to see, like the Bible says, everyone when absent from the body is present from the Lord. Everybody quote that like it's a, yeah, I'm in front of the Lord. I'm like, well, I wonder if they know about the Lord, Lord list. How you doing? I wonder if they know about the Lord, Lord list. You know, say, Lord, Lord, I did this in your name. Lord, Lord, I did that in your name. You work of iniquity. I never knew you. Depart from me. You know what I'm saying? And that's not a good. Yeah, I mean, that can happen if you're in front of the Lord. Or you want to hear done, well done, my good and faithful servant. You know what I'm saying? You may be faithful for a few things. And. You know, I'm ruler of anything, you know, that kind of stuff. But thing is, you know, the thing is what's inward is going to hear a report concerning if a good report is the well done report. But uh, when you're wrestling against flesh and blood and uh, and you're working at iniquity, you're going to hear that depart from me. I never knew you. You know what I'm saying? That's how I go. And. It's a crazy situation that, you know, people are not respecting. That's the thing. That people are not respecting this reality concerning how they do things, you know. You know, they don't reverence God and, not, and, and Jesus Christ. Not enough because Jesus Christ is the one who said it. And it's going to be many said, Lord, Lord, I did this. Lord, Lord, I did that. I mean, it's just like it's a game to everybody. But look. Life is not a game. Eternal life is not a game, you know, that people are not really considering, you know, to understand and realize this. And I'm trying to help you understand it best way as possible. And I hope others help you understand the best way as possible. But, you know, it's just a crazy world. But, hey, I pray that your enemy will be right inside you. How you doing? And... You fight that flesh and you kill that flesh. You murder that flesh. You know, prayer, fasting, best way as possible. Uh, learning the Word of God. Fellowship in the Word of God. And all praying, constantly talking to God. Asking Him for direction. Everything, you know. Keep doing that. And things will get better. For your life but if you keep wrestling against his flesh and blood and these principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness and rulers of darkness in high places and you know are gonna be you know you're you you're gonna side with them that's what people don't get it when you wrestle with flesh and blood you side with the enemy you side with Satan hmm because you be about conflict and Confusion and conflict and chaos is what's his demeanor, you know. Jesus is about the kingdom of heaven is righteous, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're supposed to be all about. You know what I'm saying? But you know how that goes. So, all right, I hope you got the message. Hope you understand what I'm saying. And hope you be about fighting the flesh and not fighting the flesh and blood. To God be the glory to him forever and ever in Jesus' name, man.